welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are filming a barn introduction. So I'm currently standing in one of our stables overlooking our view that you guys have obviously seen in my other videos. So we are literally going to just introduce you guys to the grooms, to the staff members. So you'll be meeting everyone today. Our horses will be making a feature and also we'll just show you our lovely venue which we are so blessed to be able to stay and keep our horses here. And then when you come around in here, we've got our hair lock. So this gets booked out. I'm not going to go in because it's going to get booked out. Um, we use this to book out the people so you can come and stay at the barn if you want to spend a night with our horses. And then here we come. This is our private tack room. So um, the people that work here are, are like me, Lauren and Joe. We have our tack here. So once you put this on pretty nice you come in we've got our saddles um, i'm not going to name all the saddles now but we've got all our saddles all our bridles hanging at the bottom here we've got some more bridles and then just boxes full of stuff that we might need and table you know so that is this check room and then joe's cute little and then Ivan, do you want to say hello? Hello! Say hi to the video! Hi! This is Ivan, one of our awesome grooms. He looks after our horses. Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay. I'm not going to bother you to go and keep them. So in here, we've got our livery tack room. So as you can see, quite larger than the other one. So here we've got all the boots, numbers, saddles, so livery saddles, uh, all the way around got my saddle over here that I use on Zool and Sham and then just basically bits and bobs in here like lunging aids, extras and everything in here. So it's not, I mean what can I else say about a tech room, it's a tech room where you put all your stuff in here. Here is Lauren, our scale manage, manager's famous board where she writes all our lessons, all the horses that need to work goes on this board and then next to it we have essentials like if you have to buy anything for the tack room if you need anything you write it on here and then just opposite from the tack room we've got our feed room so here we have a board that if you need anything for the horses with food regarding food you write it on here and you come in here Biff's little board for his feed uh, and this is our awesome feed room nice and spacious so we've just got our board with all the horses requirements what they need and what they eat during the, like during the day and then i'm not going to go in depth i'll probably if you guys want me to i'll do a feed room tour to show you what we feed our horses but basically here's some of the livery food like one of our other horses they usually have their own bins all our supplements and things you need on top of the shelf and then on this shelf, this is where we prepare most of the food. So the dogs, um, Biff stays in one of the stables. So the dogs' um, food gets prepared here, Biff and Puddle. And then on top, most of the buckets of food gets put here. And then during the night, the buckets are all stacked across with their food that are prepared. So 
yeah, nothing more to say about the fitting room. And then if you go through that door, you go into the hay room, so you can connect them that way, but we usually keep it closed. So when you come out, you come to our blanket room that Shan and I took literally two days to clean. <laughs> yeah. So here's our blanket room. I'll show you a time off of what it used to look like. So I'm so proud of this banquet room. We organized everything name by name. Every horse has their own rack and then extra blankets go on here and then all our stable blankets and everything is piled up here. And then here is our racks with like fly, fly masks, overreach boots, um, all the like little essential things you'll need. And then in here is more like a stationary part of the room and then in that door over there we have a little kitchen um, but I'm not going to show that to you guys today. So we come out and this is probably my favorite part of the barn is our wash bay. So we have a wash bay for the horses um, when especially when I brought Athena she is claustrophobic so this is amazing for horses that if you want to train them to box especially in an open environment. These get closed by poles that are there on the side. And our horses come in here, you can wash them with the um, hose there. And also in here, you can also wash them. So it depends on your horse's size. And also if you need a vet to come out and take your horse, it's a perfect place to put them. And then probably this is the part of the barn. I'm very real, like we weren't gonna clean everything and act as though everything is properly neat every time. But on this, these two shelves, usually it's all our essential things that we need and it comes on here. So you'll see there's a weekly routine for the grooms and hats and all our stuff. And then in here is our vet bay. That's a bit dirty at the moment. So anyway, here's all our medicine. Um, if you need anything, you usually come in here, scissors and Basically, if your horse gets injured, you come in here to get this. And then there's another board of Lauren's. You see there's a, a reoccurring thing. Lauren likes her boards. So another task to complete with the horses if the horses have any lunging requirements or anything, it goes on that one there. So when you go straight, we have our racks where our hoppers go. I wish I could say every horse has their own hopper, but we usually just have one. So here's all our halters. Um, so most of the halters are hanging here. And then we live in South Africa, so we get a lot of snakes, so we have posters up regarding snakes and all those beautiful things. And then we got our two bathrooms here, so our public bathroom. And then I'm not gonna go in here because it's Joe's personal area. I don't know, I don't know of the art, but no. The owner of the yard, <laughs> it's her classroom. So she's a body worker, so all her things go in there and she has her clinics and all her beautiful things. Do you want to say hi? Guys, this is Lauren. She's our yard manager and instructor at Farm. So she just got off from putting some jumps up in the arena for my lesson later. Uh, and now she sprayed herself, sprayed herself with fly spray. Because the dying. flies are horrible here. They're terrible. No, they're really bad. Anyway, okay. So you go on, we've got our stable. So each horse, we don't have a lot of horses that are stabled. Um, so mostly these three going down are livery clients. And then this one over here 
is where we tack up so this one and the one next to it is our tack up area because like i said we don't have many horses that are stable it's mostly just livery clients and then so these are just really beautiful stables i have to say joe um is, i think she imported i think the doors and stuff from england as far as i know i'm not sure don't quote me on that but um these are our stables and here is basically just extra food and stuff that the grooms might use for the horses. I'm not entirely sure what this stable is for, but I know it has extra food in it. So yeah, that's what it's for. And then here is Biff's stable. He keeps it fairly clean. So Biff, our big black dog that you guys have sort of seen, he sleeps in a stable. He has his own stable because he tries and tried to kill one of our other dogs. So he stays down here in the stable. <laughs> buy it <laughs> and then i'm going to show this to you but this is basically one stable that we gave for um all the stuff we need around the barn so brooms and essential things and in this stable that looks like a prison <laughs> is our stallion rocks uh stable so he has this actually a it's a birthing stable, do you say it like that? Yeah, a birthing stable. So for mares, when they go and they go and have to give birth, uh, this is where they go. So this is actually rocks. He is our study and he gets a nice big place, obviously, that has this up so he can't get to our other horses. This is his. And then every stable, which is really cool, has a water trough that fills itself. So it's the self watering so that's nice and then they have uh, we don't feed our horses in i know some people feed them they have like a, a thing in the stable where hay gets topped on top of it but we don't because horses naturally eat on the ground and they graze so we find it's more healthy for them to eat on the ground so they get their food on the ground this is obviously just being cleaned so it doesn't look like that during the night but they get their food down there and that is about it for the barn so we're gonna go outside i'm gonna show you our donkey and some of the horses and then i'll take you down to the arena and show you our beautiful views okay so this is our donkey george he, he's feisty he is our stallion rocks um companion i would say so he is in here he is the sweetest donkey ever even though he looks so crappy he was badly neglected and beaten up, so he didn't trust people at all. We took it took about like two hours to catch him. So he's so much better. You could never you ever touch him, like you said. He hated physical contact. So he's so much better and we use him for people when they come here. Um, he's so sweet down with people that they can you know, meet the dog here, they don't want to see the horses because he's much smaller than the horses. And then also you might notice the tape. If I touch this, I'll probably be shooting up in the sky. These are electrified, so obviously rocks tape is um, a lot more electrified. What's the word? Rocks tape is its vault is worse than the rest. Let me put it that way. So if you you can show it that way, there by the stable, that door over there, that one there is our box that powers all our electric tapes around the whole farm so his is the closest so obviously because he's the stallion we need to make sure that he can't get out it sounds horrible but I'm gonna walk to our, our um, sorry. I'm gonna walk to our arena now. So you guys can follow me along to our arena and I'll show you when we get there. Okay, so quick disclaimer. Uh, this is our arena. We are going to actually move to another. Sorry if you can't hear me, I'll shut. Uh, if you can't hear me in the video, I'm going to put just subtitles underneath. But this
this is our arena. We're moving to a different arena soon, so I'll show you where that is. So this is actually really great. I love working horses on heels. Um, our arena's not that bad. It's actually quite nice, but the arena we're gonna move to, it's gonna be put, like, we're gonna fence it out, and it's a lot straighter than this. So and all, obviously our equipment is not awesome, but we're getting new equipment and we're getting new sponsored equipment. So that is so exciting that it will fit with the barn. So we're trying to get, this was just an added on when the barn happened. Um, so obviously it's not up to standard, but it's going to be replaced and improved. So when you come into the arena, this is just what you get. <laughs> what you see is what you get. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize if that's not the right word. I um, This is probably the right time to tell you this. I'm actually Afrikaans, not English. So English words sometimes do not come naturally to me. So this is our sink manage. Um, this is where we do groundwork with our horses. And obviously when our horses get backed, this is where they come. So if you fall off, <laughs> the horse can't go anywhere. <laughs> and so this is probably where Athena will be back when she's old enough and this is currently where some of our horses are being back um, especially that one standing over there but I'll introduce her now so I'll take you to our new arena and where it will be and then I'll see you when I get there as well okay so this probably doesn't look like much but this is gonna be our new arena it's obviously gonna be um, like the stones and the stones and stuff are gonna take it out and then it's gonna be boxed off um, because I'm competing this year and I'm competing high um, so I can't have a small arena and then struggle to make this into a small arena so we decided to upgrade to this paddock and then we're gonna switch paddocks and move the horse to the arena so this will become our new arena which I'm very excited about because it is much bigger I mean it's huge <laughs> so i'm very excited to bring our jumps in here and then actually use this as our arena so. Want you to think put more weight in your outside stirrup. More outside leg. You've got to get her in more. More right leg. See how it opens her canter up.
outside right now. Inside leg, inside leg, inside leg. Inside leg, look. Just what's that her toe doesn't hit her shoulder? That's what I'm worried about. Hand up. We turn inside Some ideas. Outside rain, because she's going to hang on you on the side. Hi guys, um, I'm bright red. I just finished a ride on Zool, as you guys saw. So I am going to tack up Sham. I'm not gonna film it because I have to put my phone on charge, um, but we're gonna go on an outright. So I'll take you guys along with me. I just need to put my phone on charge. So I'm sorry, I'm not filming the tack up, but yeah, you guys will be able to see our beautiful outrides. So I'll see you soon. Wow, you guys are beautiful. tried and it was amazing as you saw so we are heading back home i'm doing my outro now because when i get home i need to go home well when i get to the stables i need to go home immediately so i won't be able to film but thank you so much for watching my video and i hope you guys enjoyed it i will see you in the next one bye guys say bye
Bye. You suck. Why do we suck? We walk away behind. Bye. Okay. Thank you.